Hello, good morning everyone! Good morning, Samwangita! Good morning, Pasa Buyers! So, we actually have a lot of questions on our page. Uh, for example, there are people who are asking, how much does Pasa Buy service cost? Um, how much is the service fee, the delivery? And we also have some questions on uh, about the time. Uh, on uh, like what's the specific time our Pasabay service is available. So in this video, um, we will answer those questions and you will also know why there are cer certain days that um, Pasabay service is not available whole day. So watch this video and we'll give you more information about that. Thank you so much. Bye-bye! questions on what time is our Pasabay service is available. Um, we are actually available every day um, but there are certain days that uh, we can't offer the Pasabay service whole day because I'm at work. So I will be um, sharing to you uh, where I work and then um, what time I am available during those days when I'm working and then also you'll get to know my off days. So during my off days, um, that's the time that um, you can do Pasabay service either in the morning or in the evening. But um, during the time when I have work, uh, we, we have limited um, time only for uh, the Pasabay service since I still need to uh, rest. My beauty rest is a green beauty. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll be sharing where I work and then my working hours. So you actually will understand how Pasabay service works. So thank you so much! I do work in a call center at night and then in the morning if you have any pasabay that's the time that I um, do it so for example um, for today my work is at 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. and then from 7 a.m. it actually depends sometimes I do overtime and then uh, that is to wait for uh, the stores in Dumaguete to open up because some open at 8.30 and then some do open at 9. So I have to wait for that so I could buy um, your the errands that you asked me to do. So this is actually where I work. So this is where I work. I'm so thankful and blessed to be part of ECE. Um, it's really true that they put their employee first. So if you actually have um, Pasabay and then you will send me a message around 8 p.m. to um, 7 a.m. I won't be able to respond because we don't use our phone inside. Um, but rest assured, um, as soon as I have time during my lunch break, I'm gonna get back to you and reply and confirm if I can do the uh, Pasabay service. So basically, Pasabay service is available every day. Um, I do work four times in a week. That's from Friday to Monday. And then um, it's my off day during... Uh, Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday so uh, during those three days um, Pasabay is available anytime but uh, when I have work normally I do it after my uh, shift which is 
7 a.m. And then I do accept uh, passerby until 10 a.m. Because I need to be home uh, before lunch. Uh, because I still need to rest. So that's all for now. I'm going to go inside now. Because I'm going to be late. <laughs> so see you again tomorrow. So there you have it guys. So basically Patsabay service is available every day. It's just that on days that I have work, we do have cut off time. Okay. From uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we have cut off time. That would be from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then delivery in those days would be before lunch. Um, yeah, again, so those are the days that I have worked. And then for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Pasabay service is available whole day. Okay? So um, now let's discuss about um, the cost. So for Pasabay service, um, we actually don't charge uh, that much. Um, for example, um, for cakes, um, our charge is 100 pesos. Yeah, because of course, um, we still need to... Uh, gas app and then uh, as you know gasoline right now is already or almost 60 pesos um, per liter so basically for service you're just paying around 40 pesos uh, because we need to gas up because Dumaguete is far and then um, if the passerby service or errands or pickup is um, for example like a lot of items and then we need to go to several uh, shops or mall or stores then it would be higher so um it starts with 100 pesos and then um it goes up if you have more errands or uh like doing groceries like that um for example uh, yesterday i do have a, a pasta buyer who um she asked me to go to Robinson's for groceries and then uh, she also asked me to go to pharmacy and then I also went to OK uh, Mart and then after that I also went to uh, the market, wet market in Dumaguete and then I also bought um, 25 kilos of rice so I was actually charging her 450 pesos. I was using our um, minivan. Uh, yeah, this one. We were using this one yesterday. Uh, not we, me only because I was alone. So um, I charge her 450 pesos. 300 pesos actually goes to uh, the gasoline. Yeah, so I need to gas up 300. And then 150 was for uh, the labor. So I think um, it's reasonable. Um, I hope you do agree. <laughs> yeah, 150 pesos, guys. Like, you, you need to go to different shops. Like, that was six different shops. And then you need to line up. You were actually saving your effort and your time. Especially yesterday, it was raining. Um, they were actually happy. Um, I will be sharing the comment uh, of the Pasa buyer or the picture of our conversation here uh, on this uh, video so you can also see that it went well. So anyway, thank you so much and uh, you do everyone have a good day. Bye-bye! Till next time!